You know, one of the biggest mistakes that I see with my clients when they first come to me is that they think they need, quote unquote, a marketing budget. And I want you to write this down. It's not a marketing budget that you need, everyone. It's a marketing rule. And the rule that we all follow, that I preach to my clients over 15,000 over the last 20 years, is that your rule is you never spend more than 7% on marketing and advertising. 7%. Now, here's the difference between the rule and the budget concept, all right? I have small business owners, and I'll, I'll flat out ask them, how much are you spending each month on marketing? And they'll say, uh, 2,000, 3,000, 5,000, 10,000, whatever it is. And I say, well, what is that producing? And they say, well, 2,000 usually produces X, and 5,000 usually produces X. And I say, why aren't you doing more of it? If 5,000 produces 50,000, why not spend 10,000 and that would produce 100,000? But people don't think like that. What they think like is that they only have a budget and their budget is two, three, four grand. What I want you to think like is that you're, you don't have a budget, you have a rule. 7% of your overall growth should go back into marketing and advertising. So let me ask you, what does your average client mean to you? If you sell your product or service, what does that average client mean back to you? And then we're going to take that number times 7% and then we're going to expand it. Here's how my top clients become my top clients. They find out how to generate tons of income within the 7% rule and then they maximize it so that they never have a budget. They never worry about, am I spending two, three, four grand? All they worry about is that they're making money within the 7% number. So the first thing you need to think about and you need to calculate is what is your 7% number? And you do that by calculating what is your average client worth, take it times 7% and that's what we can spend to get one new client.